go. Okay, morning, everybody. And if you talk loud, it's possible. My name is Abdu. A B D O U. Greetings, Abdu. Uh, have, um, and um, this is the family. This is our driver. His name is Tala. T A L A. Tala Sek. S E K. And uh, this is my brother, Usman. He's, he'll be uh, with us as a uh, spiritual guy. And uh, we have a, <coughs> my friend um, and uh, a staff member. He's, he works at the airport. He's the one who welcomed you. <coughs> to introduce first the all of us, I should say, uh, our Wolof. We belong to Wolof ethnic group. Oh, everyone? Yes, wow, yes, all, all of four? Us. Yes. Oh, yeah, wow. I mean, uh, you, yes, people's ethnic group according to their family names. It is Sek, Sek is Wolof. Gay also, uh, Usman also is a Wolof, and uh, Sayyidina is also a Wolof. Sayyidina or Issa, I double S A. Issa meaning as uh, Jesus in uh, in uh, English. So uh, we have so <coughs> we have around 20 ethnic groups. That's not too many, and you have as many ethnic groups than languages. So people speak. 20, so speak 20 different languages. And uh, in certain ethnic groups, they don't understand each other. So in Jola ethnic group, it's a Jola ethnic group, we have several kinds of Jola, and each of them has its own uh, dialect. The same, <coughs> we find the same thing in the um, Serer ethnic group. Uh, Serer ethnic group, a very interesting one, that uh, that's an ethnic group, people think they uh, come from ancient Egypt because uh, people that were taking care of the um, pyramids were called Sen men. Sen meaning pure air people. So those pure people uh, moved to West Africa and they called themselves Sere. And we find the same name, Sen, meaning pure, as a family name in the Sere ethnic group. Also, <clears throat> in this ethnic group, when um, somebody who's very important, a king or something like that, is dead, they just bury him in a hut, cover the hut with uh, mud, it looks like a pyramid. That's why we think that a lot of us, uh, uh, the Sere, come from the ancient Egypt. Also, the, um, there's a, they, uh, they call in this ethnic group a, a god role. Rock, and you know, in the ancient Egypt, Rock is, the, is one of the uh, big gods. So, Senegal have so uh, that was just introducing one of the ethnic groups. We have joined ethnic groups. Uh, the most uh, spread one is Wolof, ours, and you have Flani, Mandingo, uh, Jola, Sere, and um, we have uh, in the south, we have the um, the Basari the uh, Konyagi, the Fulfulbe, and so on. <coughs> we got independent. I'm just going to introduce myself and let them talk about themselves. <coughs> and so, this is Usman. Usman, go ahead. Introduce yourself. All right, I'm Oswin. Yeah, you can do yeah, I'm I'm like your And talk loud as possible. And talk loud as possible. What? Talk loud as possible. Loud as possible? Oh, come on. Okay, all right, whatever. So we can all hear you. As, okay, I will emphasize about like what he was saying. What he was talking about, like, Seren. Also, there's like the Griyo, the Guru, the history tellers. In the Seren ethnic group, when the history tellers like pass away, Perfect. what they have to do, they have to bury him. And the Baba, the Baba tree. All right, the Baba tree is the tree of life. And most likely also in Senegal, like, is, is our emblem. And baobab, you know, it will shock you. A baobab is not a tree, it's a herb. Because it's swallowed inside. There's no, you know, he could live like for 28 centuries. And the guru people are history tellers, like, just to get like very upset. Okay, for, but we live in a country that is like 196,722 uh, kilometers square, with 16 million people. 95% are Muslim, 5% are Christian. But we live on a societal harmony. We don't have like a xenophobia over here, you know. Our problem most likely is political problems, stuff like that. But right there, that I think we live on the most peaceful country in the world. Anyway, you know, in Senegal, 
divide the name like Senegal on two spots. It's Sin and Gal. There was like a, an Arab named Ahmed Yamin come here in 1032, bring Islam here, but he passed by the north. When he passed by the north, what he did, he see like that everything like was cereal. And cereal in Arab, the culture we call it sand. And God means the fish that live inside the river. That's how Senegal is. That's the name Senegal. That's how Senegal is. Right? But and, you know, no matter what also, I think like Africa as a, as one Africa as unite, you know, we all like Africans anyway. And we don't have like to let let, let these people like, you know, divide us in a fact of like ethnic group or like, you know, case or something like that. Because like we need our diaspora to come over here that we can build Africa again. So by the time being, all I have to say, welcome to Senegal. Thank you. Welcome back home. Thank All you. right? Cool. Yes, my brother. Yes, my brother. Perfect. That's a very interesting mic. <laughs> yes, dude. That's his family, so. So, um, <coughs> we have a, a, a rafty one hour drive to, uh, to downtown. You located, your hotel is located just next to uh, the Renaissance monument. Uh, Take about the trees. That's okay. probably, yeah, I was wondering yes. what, what is this area? It's a, it looked like a brand new area carved yeah, out of I mean, nowhere. Brand new area. This um, airport was uh, um, integrated in 2000, 2010. Yeah, no, 2010. And, uh, who built yeah. the airport? Uh, uh, who, uh, Turkish. Who? Turkish Turks. Turkeys. Yes. Turkeys. <laughs> Turkeys did. They finished it. Uh, they finished it because uh, the, uh, the at the Latin. beginning we have the, uh, the Saudi Arabians. Saudi, Saudi Arabians started, but they didn't finish it. And uh, um, because they were, the um, Saudi Arabians don't work for other countries. They just used uh, Egyptians. And by the time they were uh, building it, the, they had a lot of trouble in Egypt, so um, workers didn't want to go back to finish it and go back home. So they delayed it so long that we just uh, we just called the Turkish um, engineers to finish it. They just finished it. And um, this but, area. But who was the architect though? Wasn't the architect a Senegalese man? Atipa was part of African from another uh, yes, country. Atipa yeah, yeah, was, yeah, was part of it. Atipa is a well-known architect in uh, in West Africa or in Africa. And he, uh, he made a lot of nice things. We'll see some of the uh, um, of his work in, in, uh, in the city. And uh, he was part of it. And uh, we had... Uh, he's also part of the man, man, monument. We got the idea, but he did... Um, Unfortunately, realizing, and uh, we had uh, some uh, another architect called uh, Silla. Yes. yes, and they both of them they uh, that made it. And you know, when they made it, this was just a bush. Uh, I mean, this is this was the air was bushy, and you know, I, and the, um, the 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 planes started to blend. Uh, all the cities. I mean, the city, the next city is Rufisk, R-U-F-I-S-Q-U-E. Rufisk, um, they just found a lot of hyams in the city. Because uh, they were living in this area that was a bush, and uh, uh, they got scared by the, the, the landing planes, and they ran off, and they got into cities. And we, we witnessed people videotaping uh, people killing them because they were afraid of them. They didn't know all those... Uh, Base. So meaning that we have a lot of, <coughs> we had high news and we still have uh, jackals in this area. Wow. And uh, we are on a tall highway, so also a brand new highway. Yeah, everything uh, looks brand new and everything looks good. 2000, uh, it's been it was long finished time, in 2010. Man. It was finished in 2010. Unfortunately, it was made by French. And uh, they still take a half part of it for 30, 35 years. So we got already have 10 years, 25 remain. I guess the French got to make themselves useful. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they do, whatever they feel like when they, they, they do need something, to control, they got to control. It's the only highway that we let them make. Oh. Because we, 
guided agreement with Chinese and they are making a lot of advances. We get through them on our way to, uh, to the Gambia. Also, I see it's in Rufus. Uh, Rufus is the city I was talking about. Oh, that's the next city. Yeah, yeah the next city. Yeah. But the city just well, Senegal was divided in four spots. We got Dakar, Rufus, Gore, and San Luis. San Luis used to be the capital of the African Occidental French. Yeah. Right? Uh, Rufus are the third capital and Gore was the second one. Dakar become like the capital because they try to make uh, some uh, Dakar as Guadeloupe. You know Guadeloupe Martinique? Martinique, Guadeloupe? The yeah, Guadeloupe Martinique. Yeah, yeah so, you know, they was already, they, they was ready to cut Dakar. As a French department. Yeah, as a French France. department. You know, now, that was like the second man coming right after the president know about it, he just go and get the documents and bring it to Dakar. They make Dakar the capital of Senegal before the French. You know, yeah. the, the, the idea was, I mean, the will of French people was just, I mean, they did it. They uh, considered those who were born in four cities. That was Dakar, Saint Louis up north. Saint Louis was built in uh, 1539 by French people, you know, very early. And, uh, you know, that's the first French city in, West, in uh, West Africa. Saint Louis up north. You have Dakar, too. Uh, we have uh, Rufus and Gore Island. People who were born on those cities were regarded uh, French citizens, and the others were French okay, subjects. Whoa, and, how did you do that one? <laughs> I mean, and if you had two wives, one in the, one of the cities and another one on the, um, somewhere else, and in a village, the kids were have different status. The one from Dakar was well, would be a, um, a French citizen and the other was a French subject. Meaning that even in the army, they could not get to a certain level. Even in the studies, they could get to a certain level. Um, those um, the French citizens, meaning those who were born in the four cities, would be uh, would go up to um, secondary school. But the French subjects never get there that far. Wow. Just primary school. And they use them just for um, Handling things, yeah. something like that. Yeah, like laborers, that, that, yeah. more like workers. That, yes, that was a, that was a way of dividing people. So, and uh, you and unfortunately they made it because a lot of us, I realized them, um, thought that they were in a certain way superior, so better off than the other people who were in, born in land. Okay. So in this way they divided Africans so that in in Senegal we have people saying that uh, we are Senegalese, the others are called Nyak. Nyak means a fence. So they fence Baruch. Senegal and the, the, other, the other guys who are Africans that you and I were not were just regarded as foreigners. See like the so same division, what he's talking about, okay, like the April, he got the name of Blaise Jack. This young name is Galai Bajai. He was so clever at school. But these white people are telling him, as a Muslim, if you are not a Christian, and you, can, you can work with us. If you are not a Christian, you know, we just throw you out from school. He changed his name to Galai Bajai to Blaise Jai. But they never see him pray. They never see him at the church. That's why even actually he get buried at the door of the cemetery because as a Muslim people have to testify that they see you pray. That's the subdivision that you're talking about. You talk about like these people are French and the other people are the subject. Mm. Yeah, but, but, but Blaise Jai has become the first black man that worked for the French Parliament. I mean, I mean I, uh, yes, I mean, according to um, French, a Western um, point of view is important, but I don't like my because you know what he did is, you know, um, Africa, we have some knowledge, we have some ways to do what, whatever you want to do of ourselves. And uh, during First World War, World War I, uh, when they, they, they wanted to um, have more soldiers, they just get anybody who was uh, maybe three to four feet tall. 100 kilograms, 100, uh, let's say, uh, 180 pounds. Two, yes, 180 pounds. When you wave him, it was just uh, one pound or two pounds. They didn't know how that would come. And the other thing is, 
when they test them, sometimes they were not men because they have no sex, nothing. So they said they were good for army because that was their knowledge that put you, that, that misled you. They think they are, don't have the um, the weight, the right weight or the, the right uh, body. So Brazilian told them, you don't need to check them. All of them are good. Just catch them and put them in the arm. That's the way they sent a lot of people to the war, unwillingly. They didn't want to be soldiers. They didn't want to, to fight that war, but they went. Because Brazilian told French people to do, to do so. If you got a question, you can ride. come for you with your question too, guys. Long ride, family. Um, so but we have a question hour. for you. But this is all new highway, all new setup. And I guess all of this area is going to be developed sooner or later. Yeah. Sooner than later, probably. Yeah. Yeah. That's a new city. It's a new city. Yeah, that's a new city. This is Akon City. Uh, no, Akon City okay. is like a 20, 20 kilometers from here. Let's go. Close to the airport. Uh, the airport.